From Skyline Park in Brookline, this is Brookline High School Athletics on BA TV. Today it's boys soccer action as the West Roxbury Raiders are in town to take on the Brookline Warriors. Hello everyone, I'm Brad Kasna. Thanks for joining us today. The Warriors of Brookline come into today's match with a record of three wins, two losses, and one draw so far this season. But after winning their first three matches of the year, they are winless in their last three. They'll try to turn it around today in a non-league contest against the Raiders of West Roxbury, who come into today's game with a record of one and three. So the Warriors and the Raiders set to take the field next, and we'll have all the action right here on BA TV. Hard today when he does get the ball and he's going to take it for a So we are underway between the Warriors of Brookline. They're wearing their home whites going from left to right in this first half and the Rocks, West Roxbury Raiders and right away a goal right off the opening kickoff. Toma Bite Ari scores. And just like that, that couldn't have been 10 seconds into the game. It's one nothing Warriors. So you can't start a game any better than that. As Baidari, the junior forward, gets his first goal of the season. And just like that, the Warriors on top. Didn't even get a chance to go through the starting lineups for these two teams. As again, the Warriors looking to go on the attack. Baidari again, drops it back for Franz Sorensen. Now over to Alejandro Brown. West Roxbury trying to clear, ball goes out of bounds. For the Warriors, they have Jacob Harris in goal. The defensive backs are Elijah Elmore, Dimitri Makrajorgos, Suri Chavali, and Theo Yannikis. In the midfield, it's Alejandro Brown, Simon Fisher, Alex Gersten, and Fran Sorensen. And the forwards are Mana Shivali and Toma Bite Ari. Free kick here for the Raiders. The West Rockford Raiders wearing green going right to left in this first half. And McCarthy Santa will be taking it. Dangerous position here for a free kick. Kick's going straight into the box, headed down by Yannikas. West Roxbury still has it though. Warriors trying to clear. Looks like finally they'll get this one away as Fisher sends it forward. And Baidari comes across midfield. Now Mana Shivali out in front, into the edge of the box. Shivali looks to cross, and gets a goal. Looked like it deflected off a defender, and past the keeper. So Mana Shivali scores his first goal of the season, and it's two nothing Warriors. So a great start for Brookline today. The starting lineup for the Raiders. They have Rondell Hernandez, I believe, in goal. Josue Herrera, Emmanuel Jean Charles, and Blair Gibran Aja on defense. Mohamed Hilo, Wider Merville, Rondell Hernandez, and Hakeem Cousins in the midfield. TV. And Sam Kiffel, Shueb Noor, Richter Merville, and Ricard Saint Hill up front. 
So already a 2-0 lead early in the first half for the Warriors. That ball just creeps out of bounds and it'll be a Raiders throw in. Cousins will take it. And Warriors gain control on defense. Cross and pass over to Macrajorgos. Now Brooklyn will try to work up the far side. Suri Shivali sends it forward to Mana Shivali. The Warriors will come back and regroup. Around near midfield. Sorensen sends it forward, been booted back by the Raiders. Brookline still controlling though in midfield. Macrajorgos forward. Suri Shivali. Warriors having trouble breaking through the midfield here. And now Elmore on the far side tries to cross and pass, regains control. Back to Fisher. Fisher down to Macrajorgos. He sends it forward to Brown. Anna Chevalier on the far side. Shot on goal is off to the near side, out of bounds. It'll go for a goal kick for the Raiders. This is a non-league game. The Warriors play in the Bay State Conference. The Raiders out of the Boston City League. And the Warriors make the first substitution of the game as Ari Karchmer comes in for Simon Fisher. And West Roxbury pushing forward. Richter Mervell goes down, but the Raiders still control. Kiefel tries to hold on, but loses possession to Elmore. Elmore sends it forward. Looking for Bright Ari. Bright Ari can't catch up to it. Booted away by the goalkeeper. Hernandez. Warriors back on the attack though. Sorensen goes down, whistle blows, and it will be, looks like a free kick for Brookline. They take it quickly. Elmore, the edge of the box. Down low, crossing pass, intercepted, but comes right back to Bright Ari. Bright Ari shot high and wide. Out for a goal kick. 2-0 already, the Warriors lead. Still in the first 10 minutes of the game. On a pair of quick goals from Toma Brightari and Mana Shivali. Wester Oxford trying to surge forward. Brookline defense catches up with it, played back to Harris, the goalkeeper. Harris switches fields for Macrajorgos on the far side. Now up to midfield and Mana Shivali. Sorensen in the middle. And now up to midfield where Brown. Goes to Suri Shivali. Shivali back to the middle for Karchmer. And a whistle. Warriors, I think, were off sides there. So the Raiders will get a free kick. These two teams also play in different divisions. The Warriors are a Division I team, and the Raiders are a Division II team. So they compete in separate divisions for state tournaments and the like. Brown comes back to Gertzton. 
Now back to Yannickus, switching fields up to the near side, Elmore. Elmore comes into the middle, cut off, and kicked out of bounds. It'll be a Brookline throw-in. Warriors will make a substitution as Jose Palma comes in for Elijah Elmore, and Palma will take the throw-in up to Sorensen, cut off. No call there, Gersten. Maintains control, gets it over to Macri Jorgos. Warriors moving forward on the far side. Cutting across, Suri Shivali drops it back, a shot. Knocked aside, still alive though, and now headed out of bounds for a goal kick. About ten minutes into this no game, Brookline with a 2-0 lead. Goal kick out to midfield. Comes to Karsmer and Karsmer controls, wins the ball right back for Brookline. Over the far side, Suri Shivali. Goes back to Macrozorgos. Goes to Karsmer in the middle. Karsmer finds Palm on the near side, the ball goes out of bounds. It'll be a Raiders throw in. Wider Merville to take it. Merville sends it into Kiefel. Sorensen wins it back for Brookline. Back to Gersten. Switching fields, far side now. Suri Shivali with a shot. Goes wide. Mass substitutions for the Warriors. Four new players coming on. Nate Bermel, JP Brody, Zach Pasetsky, and Elijah Comerchero all into the ball game. Looks like Suri Shivali, Dimitri Macrojorgos. Anna Shivali and Alejandro Brown will sit down. Goal kick, more substitutions coming. Ben Gerber and Seth Coven on for the Warriors. kick. One by Brody. But Wider Merville able to clear it forward. Saint Hill looking to get across midfield. Comes back. And Wider Merville sends it forward. Tomachero wins it for Brookline. And the Warriors coming in again on the far side. Cards were in the middle. Now switching fields as Gersten sends it forward to Pesetsky. Gerber looking to make something happen, but sent out of bounds. It'll be a Brookline throw in. Pesetsky will take it. Raiders trying to clear, comes towards the middle. Karthman will track this one down for the Warriors. Far side, back towards the middle for Gerber. Now Gersten moving forward. Gets a, ahead and uh, Hernandez kicks it forward. Santillo across midfield for the Raiders. Yannicka sends it back for Brookline. Now Bermel up the near side, sends it forward for Gerber. It'll be a Brookline corner kick. So first corner kick of the game. We'll see how the Warriors play it. Play it short. 
Ball's in. And now they'll cross to the middle. Shot here deflected. Still alive, though. And now another shot from the Warriors. Can't get through the defense. There's a shot, and there's a goal. Off the foot of o Elijah Comerchero. And the Warriors take a 3 0 lead. First goal of the season for the senior defender, Elijah Comerchero. A few more subs for the Warriors. West Roxbury will also make a sub as Muhammad Hilo will re enter. Hakeem Cousins. Raiders are an undermanned side today. They only have one player on the bench, so they won't have a lot of chances to rest their legs. John Charles now taking it across midfield. It's been picked off by Pesetsky. Arthur Lazaretti, who came into the game after that last goal, sends it forward. Out of bounds. And it will be a Brookline throw in. Palmer will take it. Into Coven. Coven back. Lazaretti. And now sends it back to Comachero on the back line. Switching fields, Yannickus sends it up to Pesetsky. Pesetsky sends it forward for Brody. Brody down low. Pesetsky back, crossing into the middle. Sent out, but still controlled by the Warriors. Karchmer crossing pass. Shot comes in off the foot of Coven, but cleared out by the Raiders. Back on the attack, though, is Brookline. Gerber comes over to Pesetsky on the near side. Pesetsky splits a couple of defenders. Now into the middle for Coven. Coven's shot goes wide. So a goal kick upcoming for West Roxbury. Kicked out to midfield. And Karchmer is going to gain control for the Warriors. Pesetsky back to Karchmer. One by the Raiders. John Charles sends it forward, but picked off again by Brookline. Karchmer up to Coven. Bounce Pesetsky on the near side. Trying to get past wider Merville, and Merville controls it. Brookline's forced to play it out, and it's going to be a Raiders throw in. Throw comes in off of Brookline head. Shuv Noor tries to clear it away. Coming back to the middle, Bermel in for Lazaretti. Lazaretti again. Crossing for Brody. Now crossing pass. Hipped in. Another goal for the Warriors. Ben Gerber put that one away. And it's 4 0. About 15, 20 minutes into this first half. Warriors put their fifth goal on the board. That's the fourth goal of the season for Gerber. Warriors winning possession at the midfield. Coven this time sends it forward, easily scooped up by Hernandez. And 
hand as Boot comes over. The Warriors trying to gain possession right back. Brookline has dominated possession so far in this game and a 4 nothing lead to show for it. Brody on the far side now crosses back towards the middle. Tries to make a move. Wider Merville on the ground was able to defend that one. Warriors still trying to keep something going here. Pesetsky comes back for Coven. Coven into the box. Now cleared out. St. Hill coming back the other way for the Raiders. Across midfield, will slow it down, bring it back. Send it back to Wider Merville. Back up to St. Hill. St. Hill gets the ball back. Leaves it for Kiffel. Kiffel up the near side to John Charles. John Charles gets tangled up with Lazaretti, and it will be the Warriors getting the free kick. So Yannickus starts it off and he'll switch fields. Find Palma on the far side. Palma forward to Fisher. Back to Palma. Again up to Fisher, moving forward, cutting back towards the middle. Cross and pass or a shot, either way, it's scooped up by Hernandez, will boot it out to midfield. The Warriors are going to try to get it right back. Palma has it on the far side. Palma moving forward again. This is to Fisher. Back to Palma, but this one gets out of bounds, and it looks like it will be a Raiders throw in. here for a foul. So both sides will make substitutions here as Hakeem Cousins will re-enter for the Raiders and Elijah Elmore back in for the Warriors. Fisher forward for Brookline. Raiders trying to get this one out and they'll just kick it aside. Give the Warriors a throw in. Elbar. Back for Lazaretti. Now coming back here for Elmore again. And this ball goes out of bounds for a goal kick. So Hernandez will send this one forward. Four nothing is the Warriors lead. The lower midway through the first half. Raiders trying to push forward but this Brookline back line trying to stymie that attack as Palmer reels it in and sends it forward across midfield to Brody. Brody on the move. Going back towards the middle into the box. Shot. Defended there by the Raiders. Warriors though trying for more. Brody sends it towards goal. Bermel trying to keep it alive. And out of bounds. Brookline throwing. No, that's a foul apparently, so. Or maybe an offside call. So Bermel will get started there. Here's a shot on goal. Defended though. 
still alive in the box. Finally, the Raiders breaking out. Richter Merville trying to come clear. Sent forward by the Raiders as Hilal trying to get it across midfield. It goes back to Kiffel. Kiffel plays it back for Wider Merville. Kiffel gets it right back. And Kiffel coming up the near side. Warrior, Raiders trying to get through midfield. Elmore wins it right back. Although Saint Hill picks off the pass. And the Raiders coming forward. Yannickus gets that one back, sends it back to his keeper, Harris. And switching fields over to Palma. We'll try to clear it out for the Warriors. Brookline on the run, moving forward. Brumel on the far side. Comes back towards the middle, Fisher. Back to Palma. Palma sends a shot on. Gerber tries to get a deflection on it, but it won't go, so we'll do another goal kick. More substitutions coming for the Warriors. Alejandro Brown, Maya Chevali, Toma Baidari, and Suri Chevali in for Brookline. West Rocks were also making a substitution as Emmanuel John Charles re enters for Wider Merville. Hernandez goal kick. Headed by Sorensen. One back by the Warriors. Suri Chevalier on the far side. Ball goes out. Looks like it will be a Raiders throw in. Hakeem Cousins sends it to Saint Hill. Saint Hill. Forward for Kiffel. Kiffel trying to break through. But cannot. Warriors win it back. Tom Ricciaro sends it forward. And Elmore tries to cross the pass, picked off by Jean Charles. Right, Ari. Over to Sorensen, up the near side for Elmore. Back into the middle for Fisher, now up to Brown. Brown crossing pass into the box. And what a save there by Hernandez on the shot. Off the foot of Mana Chevalli, who's bidding for a second goal of the game. It was a nice shot, but Hernandez there to make the save. Warriors get the throw in here, Sorensen. Over to Elmore, Elmore. Again crossing up top of the box. Brown plays it back to Sorensen. Back to Yannickus in midfield. And now over for Lazaretti. Ball gets through. Raiders will get a chance to clear. Richter Merville boots it forward. Sandhill trying to control. And Sandhill goes over the far side, picked off by Suri Shivali. So Warriors getting possession right back. As ready, passes forward to Brown. Leaves it for Sorensen. Over towards the near side, Elmore. Right back to Lazaretti. Sends it over to Fisher. Fisher going up the far side, streaking in there. Oh, Suri Chevali, but the ball is played out of bounds, and I believe this is going to be a, yes, a goal kick for the Raiders. Both ways. You're playing a little defense now. About 10, 15 minutes to go in this first half. As John Charles takes the goal kick. Saint Hill. Go for it. Mohammed, Mohammed, out here. Finds Kiffel. Look at how narrow you make the field. Nor. Mohammed, out here. Nor comes out over here. to Saint Hill. Go for it. Come on, John, 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 Richter Merville across midfield, boots it forward. 
going to come back to the goalie, Harris. As Hilo is providing pressure. In the middle. And now the Warriors coming back the other way. Baidari into the middle for Fisher. Warriors the 4 0 lead in the first half. Baidari going up through traffic, gets tangled up. Now a shot and a goal. I believe that was Mana Shivali that put that one away for his second goal of the game. And the Warriors go up 5-0 in the first half. Second of the game for the junior forward, Mana Shivali. And the offensive barrage continuing for the Warriors. Brookline came into this game winless in their last three matches. Though it was a very tough stretch on the schedule. All three of those games were road games. As Mr. Oxbury trying to move it forward. But Yannickus reels it in on the back line. Two losses and a draw in those three road games, all of which came against teams that were uh, that are ranked in the top 20 in the Boston Globe, Eastern Massachusetts poll. So three tough games had the Warriors struggling as now on the attack again is Brown. Brown in the box, well defended by the Raiders. And now sent forward. Kiffel. Dueling with Sorensen here. Kiffel holds on and gets it back to Saintel. Saintel over to Noor. Forward to Kiffel, who sends it back to Jean Charles. Saintel, just shy of midfield. The Raiders going to slow things down and try to set something up. Jean Charles comes across midfield. Gets it forward to Saintel. Noor. Forward again to Jean Charles. Jean Charles looking to stay in control as the defense collapses. And now the Warriors win it back. Brown coming back the other way. Up to Elmore. Warriors at midfield. Lazaretti will go up to the far side. And Fisher moving back towards the box. Vaidari, top of the box. Goes out wide for Suri Shivali. Shivali centering pass, gets through. Elmore now heads it. Other end of the box on the near side now. Elmore moving in towards goal. Shot, couple deflections, stays out of the net though. Went off of Hernandez and I believe Richter Merville as well on the goal line, but still alive. This will be out of bounds for a goal kick. Frank Clark entering the game now for the Raiders. As Gesser Naxi. We'll get a breather. So goal kick. For West Roxbury. Five nil. The Warriors lead. The Raiders are trying to get something going offensively. Ball won by Mana Chevalier in the midfield. Warriors played back. Comachero. Over to Surrey Chevalier on the far side. Fisher. Come over to Yannickus. Raiders trying to provide some pressure, but the ball comes through to Sorensen. And Sorensen's back across midfield. Finds Mana Shivali. Now Bite Ari moving forward. Bite Ari into the box. A shot saved by Hernandez. 
Ball coming over to the near sideline. Looks like it's still in. Stays in play. Mana Shivali back to Fisher. Shivali again crossing to the middle. Lazaretti. Forward for Brown. Now up to Elmore. Elmore cutting back towards the box. Crossing pass. Ball in the box. Coming in the shot by Fisher is booted out by Richter Merville. And the ball goes out of bounds. This will be, it looks like, a corner kick for the Warriors. Second corner kick of the game for Brookline. Fisher will be back to take this one. Actually, Fisher, well, he'll play it short, so ball's in play. Suri Shivali shot there by Coven, I believe, was defended. She was Yannickus on that last shot. Off a West Roxbury defender. And this ball sent out of bounds for a Brookline corner kick. It's the third corner now of the game for the Warriors. Fight Ari will be over to take it. Kick comes in, picked off by St. Hill. Now the Raiders will try to get it going the other way. Kiffel has it, trying to get past Sorensen. Sends it forward, picked off by Elmore. And the Warriors get it back. Elmore being defended by St. Hill. He'll play it back to Harris. So Harris will go over to the other side, Comercero. Up to Sorensen. This ball comes all the way through to Hernandez, who boots it aside. It'll get out of bounds for a Brookline throw in. <laughs> Getting late in the first half, Warriors with a 5 0 lead. And some substitutions coming in for Brookline. Nate Burmel, JP Brody, and Ben Gerber all re enter the game. So Elmore takes the throw in, gets it back, plays it back for Lazaretti. Lazaretti up to Fisher. Back to Lazaretti. Over to Sorensen. Sorensen forward to Brody. Now back to Lazaretti. This pass forward. Loose ball. Elmore gets it. Now Elmore, the edge of the box, tries to cross, but it's knocked down by Herrera and sends it out to Kiffel. Kiffel trying to get it back. There's a whistle. It'll be a free kick for the Raiders. John Charles takes it, comes over to St. Hill on the near side. St. Hill back to Knorr. Knorr sends it up to Kiffel. Kiffel gets it across midfield, but into a trio of white shirts. Sorensen gets it back for Brookline. Comer Cherum sends it over to the far side. Suri Shivali up to Fisher. Comerchero goes back to Yannickus on the back line. Warriors working the ball around the defense. Trying to find a path forward. Yannickus sends it up to Sorensen and now Fisher across midfield. Elmore streaking up the near side. Coming into the box. And defended there by Knorr. And I believe he was able to get it out off of Elmore, so it'll be a goal kick for Brookline. Seth Coven and Ari Karchmer re enter the game for the Warriors. Oh. And 
Ross Roxbury trying to clear Saint Hill, looking to get through a couple of Warriors, but is unable to. Brookline gets back. Sorensen, far side for Karchmer. And now, Suri Shivali racing up the near side. Played into the box. Shot by Sorensen and a goal. 6-0 now as Fran Sorensen gets on the board his first goal of the season for the sophomore midfielder. Late in the first half, 6-0 the Warriors lead. Couple substitutions here. Brookline sends in Jose Palma and Zach Vasetsky both back into the game and Gazer Naxi re-enters for the Raiders. something going offensively here but once again unable to this ball sent over everyone all the way back to Hernandez so it's six goals that is the most of the Warriors have scored in a game this season Brookline put five on the board in the season opening win against Norwood, a 5 nil game that one. But 6 nothing here as we have reached halftime. The Warriors of Brookline leading the Raiders of West Roxbury. So we'll be back with the second half of action. You're watching Brookline Warriors Soccer on BA TV. Back at Skyline Park, ready to go in the second half between Brookline and West Roxbury. The Warriors of Brookline will go from right to left in the second half in the home whites. West Roxbury's Raiders in the green jerseys going from left to right. And a 6-0 lead for the Warriors. Dominant throughout the first half. Scoring. First goal came 14 seconds in from Toma Bite Ari, assisted by Alejandro Brown, and the Warriors never looked back from there. Mana Shivali scored about two and a half minutes later. Elijah Comachero in the 14th minute. Ben Gerber scored, assisted by Zach Pasetsky, to make it 4 0. Baidari got his second of the game, assisted by Mana Shivali to make it 5 0. And then JP Brody set up Fran Sorensen for the goal that made it 6 0 before halftime. So, Mana Shivali with two goals. Toma Baidari with a goal and an assist. A lot of Warriors have gotten in on the scoring action today. Warriors will try to add more in this second half. Sorry, Karchmer with it now. Loses the ball, Sam Kiffel trying to push forward for the Raiders, but Karchmer able to send it out. So Kiffel will make the throw in. Kiffel probably the Raiders' biggest offensive threat. He had a hat trick in a game earlier this year against South Boston. Also scored in 
the Raiders last outing, which was a 4-2 loss against Boston Latin Academy. Nate Bermel across midfield. Karchmer comes over to Seth Coven on the near side. Now to Jose Palma. Forward for Bermel. Palma can't get through. Wins the ball back though. And Coven sends it forward in the box. Shot, goal. Ben Gerber, his second goal of the game. And it is a 7 0 lead for the Warriors. Fifth goal of the season for Gerber, and it's his uh, second multiple goal game. He also scored a pair in the season opener against Norwood. The junior forward makes it a seven goal lead. So, barring a unexpected turn of events here in the second half, it looks as though the Warriors are going to snap a three-game winless streak. But also have noticed that uh, this was a, this will be their fourth win of the season for the Warriors. And this is a team that, that only won four games all of last year. So already just in their eighth game of the season, to already match that win total from last season, uh, certainly an accomplishment for the Warriors. This is, of course, a non-league game against the Raiders out of the Boston City League. It's now Kiffel trying to move forward. Goes back to Schweb Noor. Mohamed Hewell, who scored the Raiders' other goal in their last game on Thursday against Boston Latin Academy. Warriors regain possession now. Trying to clear across midfield, comes back to Karchmer. Coven in the center circle. Goes over to Zach Basetsky on the far side, crossing paths in towards the box. And that will get out of bounds. It will be a goal kick, I do believe, for the Raiders. Substitution here for Brookline as Dimitri Makajorgos re-enters for Theo Yannikas. Actually, it's a corner for Brookline. Ball into the box. Gets through. But Brody there will take it out, try to set something up again. Shot there off the defense. And now cleared out to midfield by the Raiders. Makajorgos. Up to Pesetsky on the far side. Hey. 
Alex Gersten crosses. And the ball gets through everyone. It's rolling out of bounds. It will go as a throw in for the Raiders. Gesser and Axie will take it. Up to Emmanuel Jean Charles. Sean Charles sends it forward, but Mac Gregorio catches up with it. And he plays it back to Edmund Geschichter, who is into the game as the Warriors goalkeeper for this second half. Brookline coming back the other way. Coven. Up to Pesetsky. Back towards the middle, Brody. Sends it back. And now sent forward to the goalkeeper. West Roxbury has also, it looks like, made a change in goalie for the second half. I believe it's Richter Merville in that now for the Raiders. And he may be tested here by a shot from Burmell, but it goes wide. Substitution for the Warriors, Arthur Lazaretti back in to replace Alex Gersten. Goal kick coming. Emmanuel Jean Charles will take it. Comes all the way back to the Warriors back line. And Macrozorgos now plays it up to Karchmer. And back for Elijah Comerchero. And then back to Geschichter, the goalie. Now Warriors looking to move forward. Karchmer sends it across midfield. Bermel right there in the middle. But Carfin Saintel comes in to win it for the Raiders. And Josue Herrera clears it out to slow down that Brookline attack. It'll be a throw in for the Warriors. Palma will take it. Or he won't, actually. It looks like it'll be Burmel that'll do it. A running start. And the throw comes in. But John Charles is there. Now the Warriors win it back, though. In the box, shot and deflected dangerously, but out of bounds. The shot came off the foot of Coven. A Raiders defender got a foot on it to deflect it. And was lucky that it went wide of the goal, as that was dangerously close to getting in past the goalie. But it'll be a corner kick for the Warriors. Kick comes in, headed out by the Raiders. Coven reels it in. Into the box, bouncing around. Lazaretti trying to control. Gets it back to Kurt Karchmer. And now comes all the way back to the back line for Macrojorgos. Warriors will try to regroup. Get something else going here. Pass forward was nearly picked off by Knorr. The Warriors still controlling. Pesetsky on the far side. Comes back for Gerber. Gerber goes into the center circle for Karchmer. And that comes to Macrozorgos on the near side. He goes forward to Bermel. Bermel sends it over to Coven near the top of the box, but picked off by Jean Charles. Lazaretti trying to win it back. Whistle blows. And a free kick for the Raiders. Uh, 
As already went in hard on that challenge. And came away walking a bit gingerly, but still on the field. John Charles now trying to move forward up the near sideline, crossing into the middle. And loose ball controlled by Geschichter. Nor was streaking in, but couldn't quite get a good shot on goal. Might have been the Raiders' best offensive opportunity of the game. Coming forward again is the Warriors. Gerber looking to get past the defense, but looked like it was Rondell Hernandez that caught up with him. Hernandez was in goal in the first half, but looks like he's come out to play the field here in the second. Only two substitutes on the bench for the Raiders. I said it was one in the first half. They actually have two, but an undermanned West Roxbury squad making it tough on them here today. The Warriors looking strong. As they have a 7-0 lead. in the second half. Warriors moving forward again, Pesetsky headed to the edge of the box. And now a shot and a goal. see who put that one away but that makes it eight nothing for the Warriors As they continue what has been a dominant performance against the West Roxbury Raiders here today So 8 0 in the second half. I believe it was Nate Vermal who put that one in. I'll try to get confirmation on that. Vermal again now moving forward. It's Coven. Sends it into the box, cleared out by the Raiders. Free kick for Brookline. Palm off the far side. Back to Bermal. Send it up, Palma, racing ahead for that one. Crossing pass, knocked down by the goalie. Still alive for the Warriors, though. Now the Raiders will try to clear, but the Warriors get it back. Brody comes over to Surrey Chevalier on the near side. Comes all the way back to Macrajorgos. Warriors will regroup, get something else going. Yannickus sends it forward to Lazaretti. Now back over to Palma on the far side. Warriors again working in deep territory. It goes out of bounds. And the Warriors are going to make a line change here. Five subs coming in. Elijah Elmore, Mana Chevalli. Toma Baidari, Simon Fisher, Fran Sorensen, all off the bench for the Warriors, all re-entering this game on a Brookline corner kick. Come on, come on, come on. 
Kick comes all the way back to the back line. Looks like it was Zach Pasetsky who had that last goal for the Warriors. So his first goal of the season already has an assist earlier in this game. So a three point game for the junior midfielder. Seth Cohen also uh, should know credit with an assist on the Ben Gerber goal earlier in this half. So Cohen on the score sheet as well. So it's been two for Mana Shivali, two for Ben Gerber in terms of goals with Zach Pasetsky, Eliza Komarchero, Toma Bite Ari, and Fran Sorensen also getting in on the action. And eight nothing lead for the Warriors. This ball comes back to Geshekter, who sends it aside. Yannickus up to Lazaretti. Lazaretti sends it down to Fisher, goes back to Mana Shavali. And now Macrogorgios forward back to Fisher. Warriors content to work it around the back line here. As Geschichter goes over to Yannickus on the far side. Elmore now gets it forward back to Fisher. Macrogorgios again. Gets it forward to Fisher. Fisher across midfield for Vermal. Now centering for Fisher. Goes to Elmore on the far side. And now down to the back line once again. Yannickis crosses to Macrojorgos. Forward to Fisher. Warriors might be content here to just. maintaining possession and play a passing game already with an eight nothing lead in the second half. And the Shivali now comes down to Fisher. Fisher gets it up to Baidari. Plays it back to Sorensen and now over to Elmore on the far side. Schechter. Elmore up to Baidari. Now over to Fisher, who will again play it back to Yannickus. Ball crossing and now picked off by Hewell. Ball is out for Brookline throw in, substitution for the Warriors. Now as Gerson comes back in for Arthur Lazaretti. Continue to pass around their defensive side of the field as they move towards their fourth win of the season. And are on their way to snapping a three game winless streak. And those last three games we're all on the road. The Warriors have actually been quite strong here at home. This is their third game here at Skyline Field. 
And as things stand now, they'll move to 3-0 and here at home. Coming into today, they'd outscored opponents 6-1 to in their first two games here at Skyline Field. And add today's tally onto that. As it stands now, they've outscored opponents 14-1 to here at home. So they have looked strong here on the artificial turf of Skyline Field. Warriors throw in, Elmore will take it. Up to Fisher. Now Manashavali will take it across the back line over to Macrajorgos. Sorensen plays it up to Brumel. And Elmore goes up to Baidari at midfield, who then comes back to Sorensen. Up to Brumel, back to Mana Shivali. And Gerson will play it back to Macajorgos. Ball comes back to Geschichter. And it does not look like the Warriors are interested in any more forays into the offensive part of the field. One minute to play in this one. Brookline looking to run out the clock. But now the Raiders gain control. John Charles moving up, defended by Gersten, and Gersten wins it back. So, really, nothing going West Roxbury's way today. The Warriors working on a shutout as well, which would be their third shutout of the season. Game over. That'll do it. An eight nothing win for. The Brookline Warriors as they defeat the West Roxbury Raiders in this non-league action here at Skyline Park. So the Warriors improved to 4-2-1 and one on this season, already matching their win total from last year, just seven games into the young season. It was uh, Manashavari and Ben Gerber with two goals each for the Warriors today, leading the charge in a dominating performance by Brookline in this non-league matchup. And the Warriors' defense with uh, Dimitri Makrajorgos uh, anchoring the back line and Edmund Geschichter and Jacob Harris in goal. They split, uh, split the afternoon in net, get the Brookline Warriors' third shutout of the season. The West Roxbury Raiders dropping to 1-4 and four after today's match. So that'll do it for us here at Skyline Park. Once again, the final score with Brookline Warriors 8, the West Roxbury Raiders 0. I'm Brad Kaznet saying so long from Skyline Park.